Hey guys, we are here at Epcot. It's December, it's the holidays. Yeah, so we never get to come in December. We never do. We don't even get to travel in December. But this year it just worked out to where we can. And so we we're really excited to be here. We're gonna check out Festival of the Holidays. And that's right, we're gonna maybe eat some Yule logs and hear some stories. <laughs> check out the uh, Chippendale Scavenger Hunt. We got a lot of stuff that we can do here at Epcot today. We're really excited. Come on, let's go. Right now we are experiencing what I like to call Christmas rain. <laughs> so we're walking uh, out of Future World now, we're headed back to World Showcase. So it's worth noting if you're coming to Epcot, World Showcase still doesn't open until a little bit after the park opens, so make sure you check that time. Uh, so we're headed back, we're gonna start off in Norway. I need something to eat, so we're gonna go to Kringla. And then, and then uh, the, we're gonna see the first storyteller at 11. Yeah, really excited for that. Keisha's heritage is Norway. She's got family there, so we got to go visit them. So we're really excited to see what's going on for Christmas in Norway. You guys know we love a good scavenger hunt, so for festival holidays, it's the Chippendales Christmas tree spree and they go through and collect all the things they need for the Christmas tree. So here are all the little stickers. So we are going to be looking for them and we'll show you probably a couple, not all of them, and then also the prize we get at the end. When you're on these scavenger hunts, the first one is always the hardest to find because it's like you don't really know what you're looking for. So we did just find uh, Dale in Mexico. So no spoilers there because, well, it's dark in there, so you can't really film it but we'll show you a couple of the other ones we find we're headed over to Norway so we're going around that direction see how many of these Chippendales we can find see what our prize is So we are finding that these chips and these dales are so hard to find. We've had to skip two countries because we can't find them. This, we're I think on the fourth or fifth country. Um, we were kind of playing alongside some other guests and they asked and we just followed them. Um, and they, and it's two adults too. And they're like, it is so hard. I was like, I know, I can't find any of them. <laughs> So the candlelight processional takes place here in the pavilion, like near America. Um, the best thing we heard was to get dinner packages because this was the last minute trip, they were all sold out. Um, the standby entrance is like down on that far side. You can wait and still get turned away, especially like today's a Saturday, so that's probably going to happen. This is the one big thing that we're going to miss um, for holiday, but we're trying to take in everything else and we'll just watch this on YouTube. The custom among Japanese is to make a wish and paint in the left eye. Then when your wish comes true, you must paint in the other eye. But what if your wish doesn't come true by the end of the year? Well, you can always try again next year because I've got lots of dharmas to sell. Yes, yes, yes. Mini dharma, big dharma, lots of dharmas available. Dharmas for sale, dharmas for sale. Come, come, gather around. Dharmas for sale. Let's try. For festival holidays, similar to like the Food and Wine Festival in Flower and Garden, they have 
extra food kiosk set up around. So we stopped here in Morocco at the Sapphire uh, food kiosk and we got some kefta lamb kebabs. So we're really excited. This is our favorite kind of food, so we're about to dig in. So we just ate in Morocco and it was delicious and we looked at the time and we wanted to get over to see Pierre Noel in um, France. So here we are. Hello. The wise man, the little drummer boy. Where, where, where that comes from in Provence? The statues were made for the nativity. Also include people from your village. The baker, the priest, little figures made out of clay called Saint-Ton. That means little saints. Then light three and then light four, every dusk light one candle more. Till all eight burn bright and high on a ring a day gone by. Come a wassailing among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. Love and joy come to you, and to you your wassail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. Now let's see, where was I? Oh, oh yes, well that Christmas carol that I was just singing like so many Christmas traditions, actually originated right here in the United Kingdom. In fact, it is not at all uncommon to see a group of carolers, very much like yourselves, standing on a street corner, very much like this one, singing all the songs of the season. And now I suppose we have time for a chance for one final song. What say you, eh? <clears throat> We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays to you all! <laughs> in Canada for a little while not because we were entertained by anything but because we can't find these chips and dales oh this is by far the hardest scavenger hunt we've done all year it is, yeah. so we've, we've missed, missed four of them and now we're having to go around too and see if we can find them again yeah so we're headed back to Norway we never did find the one in Norway we're headed back there now hopefully we can find them and we finally figured out why we've been struggling finding these chip and dales all day every other scavenger hunt that we've done all year long None of them have been inside. And now apparently for this one, they are in the stores. So we suggested it in Norway. We went and checked in Germany as well. It was in the store in Germany and it was in the store in Norway. So the other two that we've missed, we're gonna go back and see if we can find them in the stores. We spent a lot of time looking for these. A lot of time. <laughs> I'm glad we finally know what we're doing. So it finally stopped raining long enough for us to see the storyteller in Norway, but it looks like it's gonna rain again. How far off are we? Hello everyone! Hello, my name is Sigrid and I am very excited today to tell you about Christmas in Norway. Goljun! Oh, well that's how we say Merry Christmas in my country. So, now let's hear all of you try it on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Goljun! Oh, someone sounds very excited oh. to say it! But, on our farms, many families like mine still celebrate that tradition of the two Christmas Nissen. There's Eula Nissen who visits our homes on Christmas Eve to bring the children gifts, and the other is Fiyuz Nissen, who lives in the haylofts of our barns. <laughs> and it is said that especially at Christmas time, our family should treat these Nissa, the barn Santa, with respect, for if we don't, he has been known to cause quite a bit of mischief in one way or another. 
But when I have lived on a farm my entire life, and all of my Christmases, I have never seen him. So, all the talk about this born Santa is neither here nor there, for we all know that these mischief makers do not exist. We finally did it. We completed our map. It was not easy. It was not easy. It took a lot of time. But we're going now to turn it in to get, we think it's a pack of cards. Like greeting cards, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're excited. We got little Chip and Dale greeting cards and like you can pop this ornament out and it's like a 3D-ish little Epcot. It's cute. I think there's four or five cards in there. So we didn't take in nearly everything that there is no, for a festival. Close. Yeah, like we hardly ate any of the food. We skipped a couple of the orators. Oh, oh or, I thought orders. I was like, what? No, or, orators. Or, orators. Storytellers. Storytellers. Yeah. Um, but the ones that we saw, we really enjoyed. Yeah, we really enjoyed. They were did. very cool. The one in uh, the United Kingdom was awesome. Oh my gosh, the Norway one was Christmas. hysterical. Yeah, that one was fun. What do you think was your favorite one? Um, Probably, yeah, probably Father Christmas. And the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. Yeah, I think I, I like the Norway one. I love a good Santa in a green robe. Yeah. I think I liked the Norway one the best. It was fun. It was funny. Yeah, um, it was the fun. girl who did it was really good. She was really good. Yeah, yeah, so it was awesome. But we're headed back to the car now. We hope you enjoyed coming with us to Epcot at Christmas time. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment down below with your favorite thing at Epcot during the festival of the holidays. Subscribe to the channel so the bare necessities of life will come to you. We'll see you guys next time. It's upside down.